an eager young American interviewing Mr. Richard Nixon at the time of his presidency. Uh, m m Mr. Nixon, there, there's something embarrassing I I'd like to ask you about. Go right ahead. Well, this is a hard question to ask. I, I'm only asking uh, b because of my search for truth. Any friend of truth is a friend of mine. And I have a lot of other friends, too. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Nixon, my question. Yes, yeah, sorry. Go right ahead. My question is, well, the way you conducted your, your, your presidency, you know, I mean, some people have compared it to, to Adolf Hitler, and I, I... First of all, let's get the record straight on Mr. Hitler. There's been a lot of bad-mouthing of Mr. Hitler these last 40 years. Now, I'm not going to defend everything in Mr. Hitler's administration. But when Mr. Hitler ran with the ball, he ran with the ball. He was a tough-jawed, steel-hard fighter. He wasn't a... Mr. Nixon, I mean, I, I'm amazed. How can you... I mean, how can you talk like that about a man like Hitler, whose close advisors were people, 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 people like Himmler and Goering? Mr. Himmler, Mr. Goering, and for that matter, Dr. Goebbels, were three of the finest public servants it was Mr. Hitler's privilege to know. There's a lot about government which people who've not been privileged to hold high office don't know. I have... Mr. Nixon, I'd like to come back to my question. Certainly, don't let me interrupt you. I mean, in your administration, the way you ran the Vietnam War, the savagery with which you rained the bombs down, uh, I mean, some people could, well, some people might compare it to, 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 to the ruthlessness of, of Genghis Khan. Look, I've really got to blow the whistle on Mr. Khan. There's something you've got to understand about Mr. Khan. I mean, first of all, he was in a difficult position. He didn't have the backing of his own administration. Secondly, as a Pakistani, he didn't have the same respect for human life that we did. You've got to get it into, oh, Mr. Nixon, this is just too much.